Today I'm gonna show you how to add all these beautiful images together and then blend them to look like one photo. Hey there, my name is Ali. The idea of today's edit is that we're gonna try to mix this house in the lake with a new sky and try to add this model somewhere in the photo. I'll start by dragging the house photo. Sorry, I'm gonna close the timeline. Okay, I'm gonna just image size, reduce the size of the image a little bit just for my video so it goes faster. You don't have to do this. I'm gonna unlock my background layer first, then I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. I want this house to be a little bit closer to the camera. Something like that is good. And I'm gonna press enter, okay. Now I wanna get rid of the sky. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. I'm gonna go to select. I'm gonna go to color range. Okay, and now I'm gonna select the sky and make sure you increase the fuzziness. And I'm gonna press okay. So now I have a selection. Let's add a layer mask. Okay, I got the opposite of what I wanted, so I'm gonna press Ctrl I to get the opposite. As you can see, if I alt click this mask, this is the mask actually. By alt clicking, you get to see your mask. I want only the sky to be black, only the sky to have the black. So I'm gonna take the white color and I'm gonna, with like sharp brush, I'm gonna just paint anywhere. I don't want it to be deleted here and there. All these parts, I don't want them to be deleted. Only the sky. Then alt click back again. Another way to see is I'm gonna put a layer below and color it with black. To see. Okay, it's fine now. Like now I'm just making sure. Oh, I see here in the tree some parts are deleted. I'll bring them back with white by painting white on the mask. And let's get rid of the, this black layer. Okay, let me add the second photo which is the sky. Let's put the sky behind. Let's adjust the place of the sky. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, I want the light to be maybe somewhere here. Okay, so now we have the sky. But now we're facing a problem because the trees behind them, it had some blue sky. So now we're having a problem with that color. So how I'm going to fix that is I'm going to stand on this layer. Okay, the main layer, this one. I'm going to add a curves adjustment on top of it. Okay, first I'm gonna darken it because the sky is dark. So this is too bright. It had a bright sky like you see the bright sky reflected. Now the sky is different. So I'm gonna darken it to match the sky a little bit. Just something like that. Then I'm gonna add another curved adjustment layer and darken again. Something very strong like that. But this other layer, I'm gonna make sure it's linked. Sorry. I'm gonna press Control I to make it invisible. So now when I paint with white, I'm gonna go low opacity and low hardness. When I paint with white, with white, as you can see, it's gonna be only visible on the places where I paint with white. So I'm gonna paint only on the blue areas where we had the trees so that we get rid of all these like blue. So let's see this. The before and after. So now we fixed the background. Okay. One more thing I need to fix. I guess it needs a little bit more darkening. Let's darken it a little bit more. And let's take this layer. Like the background layer. And I'm going to add a curve adjustment on top of it. And I'm going to brighten this one actually. So it matches. So now they are matching. Like this one is the same brightness as that one. However, let's take this one. And the curves. Press Ctrl J, Ctrl E. This will give us a copy of this layer. So now I'm going to press Ctrl T, flip it vertical. Put it somewhere here on top. I'm going to put it on top like that. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. And now I'm going to add a layer mask and press Ctrl I to make it invisible. Then I'm going to take my brush with a very low opacity. I'm going to paint it on top of the water. Of course, I'll swap color and erase it from like on top of the goose. I don't know if these are goose or ducks. 
I actually can't tell the difference, but I guess they are goose. The ducks are like dark color. And we got rid of it. Okay, let's change this layer now to overlay or soft light. Let's try soft light. Let's try overlay. Let's try hard light. Hard light is too much, so overlay is good. As you can see, we made a reflection of this onto that. Okay, let's add now our model. I'm going to add it on a new layer. Okay, the best way to cut models or any like people from photos is using the pen tool as long as like you don't have differences in color. So what I'm basically going to do is I'm just going to press clicks all around my model until I close the selection. And for this part, I'm going to fast forward so that I don't waste your time. And once you reach the last point, you close the selection, then you press right click, make selection, make sure the feather is zero and press OK, and then add layer mask and drag this photo to our image. Okay, I'm going to flip it horizontal and uh, let me decide the position. We can either, either like have it here or I made another copy to try another position or somewhere here. So this or that, I guess the small one is better. So I'm going to delete this one. Okay. So now we have our model. Okay. It's time now to blend everything together. First, I'm going to stand on the sky layer. I'm going to add a layer on top of it. I'm going to take a brush. I'm going to sample like this bright color maybe from here. I'm going to make it into the linear dodge add mood. And then I'm just going to color something like that. Then I'm going to make it smaller and color another one like that. And I'm going to lower the opacity and change the blending mode to screen. So now we have some sort of a light coming down. I'll move it a little bit down and lower the opacity. Okay, I'll do the opposite with a dark cyan color maybe but I'm gonna stick to normal and I'm just gonna paint the top part of the sky and lower the opacity maybe try the overlay mode okay good this is the overlay so I darkened the top part and brightened the below part okay now it's time to like blend the model uh, I believe she's too bright for the environment. You can always look up here to see. Uh, there is this stroke of light here. It's not correct. So I'm going to take the burn tool. Make sure it's on highlights. And I'm just going to burn this a little bit. So it doesn't look like there is light coming from here. And even this one. Okay, then to fix more this model, I'm going to add a curves adjustment, link it, and I'll just pull the highlights down and take the shadows or the dark points, leave them up as they are. Okay, now in this curves, like we made everything darker, but the light is coming that way. So I'm going to take a brush, a normal brush, and very softly I'm just going to erase from that part where the light should be hitting. A bit more. Okay, and I'll lower the opacity. Okay. Now it's time to like try to color everything together. I'm going to add a curves adjustment on top of everything. I'm going to pull the blacks a little bit up. The shadows, I'm going to pull them down. And then the highlights, I'll make them even brighter. Like that. And then I'm going to take a gradient map. I'm going to choose this one. This one is basically, it goes from like dark blue to cyan, all the way to red, then to the like the orange. But this red is too colorful. I'll just 
decrease it a little bit and let's put this one let's try soft light and I like this one actually a lot okay let's add a curves adjustment layer let's go to the red channel I'm gonna add some red in the highlights a little bit of cyan in the shadows let's go to the blue channel add some yellow in the highlights let's go to the green channel add some magenta in the highlights and this is like the color we made I'll just lower the opacity a little bit okay I guess what we're missing here we need some sort of light coming from that area to that area so I'm gonna try doing it using a curves I'm gonna brighten everything up something like that and I'm gonna add some like red to it and some yellow to it but then I'm gonna press ctrl I so it's invisible so now whenever I paint with white, it's going to be visible. So I'm going to paint with white a little bit here. And I'll lower the opacity and just pull it a little bit here and there. So this is like the light we created here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Control Alt Shift then press E. This merges everything into a new separate layer. I'll go to filter camera row filter now I'm gonna draw with this radial filter at the points where I want the eyes to be attracted to so I'm gonna draw here this is like our light source and now I'm only targeting this area just make sure it's inside not outside outside will do the opposite so inside and I'm gonna like increase the fog a little bit and make sure it's like you can like start making them all zero then start coloring but in this case I'll make it warmer and more reddish using the magenta and of course brighter. something like that is good and just brighter make sure it's just like brighter and more colorful so the eyes gets get attracted here let's go again to the camera row filter I'll do the exact same but this time I'm gonna move it like that, pull it this way. So somehow it's coming from the source of light to our model. Something like that. But then I'm not gonna use the color, the yellow. I'm gonna lower the yellow a lot and the magenta a lot. Just stick with the brightness and I'm gonna increase the clarity in this one to make things just clear. And press OK. So now this will have some sort of a beam of light here. Again, I'm going to do the same camera row filter. I want eyes to be attracted here. So I'm going to draw on top of this one. Then I'm not going to add any color, not going to add brightness or anything. Just increase the clarity. Make it more clear. And I'll pump up the shadows a little bit. And the blacks. Just like so it's not that dark anymore and I'll do the same maybe on top of these two goos okay okay so now it's good final time in the camera row filter I'm gonna go to the FX module I'm gonna add a little bit of vignette dehaze the photo a little bit maybe brighten the whole thing it's too dark here at the top and too dark here at the bottom so I'm just gonna push the blacks a little bit and the exposure a little bit higher just brightening the whole photo just a little bit and finally I'll go to the camera calibration I'll, I'll try different variations of color let's see if we pull this one like that it will be more reddish and more cyan uh, this one if we move it it will have like the greens are gonna be more yellow I like this effect actually and let's press OK. OK, I'm done with the camera row filter. Another like last, last adjustment I'm going to do is creating a new layer, put it into overlay. And with a very low flow and a very low opacity, just sample the highlight color you have and start painting manually some of the highlights. I'll make this color a little bit warmer. Color some highlights here and there you have. even like the highlights on the water I'll increase the flow a little bit this 
this will make the photo like add interest to the photo and some highlights on our model as well and where else can we add just a big one here okay so this is what the overlay did and just lower the opacity if it's too much and i guess that's it for today's tutorial if you have any comments or questions make sure you put them in the comment section down below thank you